Thanks so much, John. New information this noon on a deadly crash in the city of Rochester being investigated by the FBI. Police say the suspect is from the Syracuse area. Here's what we know right now. Police saying 35-year-old Michael Avery drove his car from the Syracuse area late last month to the Rochester area. And that's where he checked into a hotel in Greece and then rented an SUV from the Rochester airport. Police say he bought gas cans from several locations in Monroe County. Then early Monday morning, they say he saw a group of people leaving a Grateful Dead tribute show and sped up towards them. That's when the car got into a crash with a rideshare vehicle. Two people in that car died. Avery died last night and nine more people were injured. Police say there are no other suspects. More now from ABC's Rena Roy. Dashcam video shows a large SUV on fire slamming into a smaller SUV. Frightening pictures of a person engulfed in flames getting out of one of the vehicles. <laughs> Police say the crash happened just as a thousand people were leaving a New Year's Eve concert at the Kodak Center in Rochester, New York. You saw the carnage of the cars and the one car burnt up and car pieces everywhere and it was surreal to think, wow, this happened right here. Both cars slamming into a crowd crossing the street. Nick, how many people injured do you have? We're trying to count. We got one, two, three. Then I can see you on the ground. Three people killed, including the driver of that large SUV, nine other people injured. Police releasing photos of the suspect who they've identified as 35-year-old Michael Avery from Syracuse, New York. And what's raising suspicions? Police say more than a dozen gas cans were discovered inside that large SUV. Avery made at least a half dozen purchases of gasoline in gas containers. The FBI now joining police investigating the incident as a possible act of terrorism. As authorities say, it appears Avery intentionally drove into the crowd. At about the same time, a rideshare vehicle containing two passengers in the back seat was pulling out of the theater parking lot and was struck by Avery's expedition. So far, investigators haven't found anything to suggest Avery was motivated by political beliefs. Law enforcement sources telling ABC News the driver of the SUV is from Syracuse and had driven his own car to the Syracuse airport where he rented that large Ford Expedition SUV. Investigators are pouring through the suspect's electronic devices and social media accounts and talking to friends and relatives as they try to learn more. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. All right, thank you, Rena. We will have continued coverage of this story all day as it develops. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski is on his way to Rochester, and we'll have live reports beginning at 4. And then stay tuned for ABC World News tonight with David Muir. That's at 6.30 right here on News Channel 9.